In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long ago. Yet what I can I give him, give my heart. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Speak what is true. made pure. I have life. I can breathe. I am healed. I am free. Oh, here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Speak what is true. Good evening. People have undergone unprecedented, unprecedented loss this year. Family and friends have succumbed to death in this pandemic and due to other causes. Millions have lost economic security through loss of jobs. Some have lost businesses that they've built over a lifetime. Most of us has, have lost our beloved rhythms of life and felt familiar that felt familiar and gave our lives the richness of gatherings and adventure. And we can name so many losses related to hatred and violence. Throughout Advent, we proclaim hope, love, joy, and peace in the midst of difficulty. That is the church's gift to the world, that our faith story is grounded in the presence of God that came and dwelt among us in the midst of hardship. On the longest night, the winter solstice, which is December 21st, it has become tradition among the churches to hold a blue Christmas or longest night service to acknowledge and remember those we have lost. However, I like to hold the service on the first Sunday of Advent. For as we start the Christmas season, it is important to admit that sometimes hope, love, joy, and peace our distant feelings when we have encountered so much loss. The anticipation of renewed grief as Christmas approaches can be difficult for many to bear. Ritual helps move through these feelings and funnel our heartbreak in ways that, while not 
alleviating it totally gives space for tangible remembering. This is especially important in the year 2020 because we often were not able to gather and ritualize our loss in the ways that we usually do. As we look back at it all at once, we are in danger of being overwhelmed by its tragedies. Sickness, violence, fire, hurricane, earthquake, and more. Our aim tonight is to acknowledge this, to mourn this, and to know that in all of this, there is possibility for more light. If we are to be overwhelmed, let it be that we are overwhelmed with the assurance that we are not alone. Psalm 36, 9 says, With you, within you, is the spring of life. In your light, we see light. Please note our blue candles here on the altar rail. Though the light is as blue as many of us feel, the light is still there. And when we feel as if our light is dimmed, we can rely on the holy light to continue to shine until we ourselves shine bright once again. We are not alone. by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to from on high and order all things far and nigh to us the path of knowledge show and cause us in her ways to go rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come Come, desire of nations, bind all peoples in one heart and mind. From dust thou brought us forth to life. Deliver us from earthly strife. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. As we go through our litany of losses in which we name and, and proclaim those losses that we have suffered this past year, I will give you a, a chance to respond and, and prompt you to repeat after me when that time comes. We mourn this night the loss of life.
For so many, the pandemic has taken loved ones. We mourn the loss of those close to us and those whose names we do not know. We mourn those who perished while working to save their lives. We mourn those who died not of pandemic, but of other causes. And we mourn the loss, in many cases, of our ability to be with them as they passed. Our loss of gathering together for comfort in the ways we needed so much. And I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of life. We mourn, we mourn this, this loss, loss of life. life. We honor and remember those beloved. We honor, honor and, and remember, remember those beloved. beloved. We pray for comfort and peace. We, we pray, pray for, for comfort, comfort and peace. peace. Amen. Amen. We mourn this night the loss of livelihoods. For so many, the pandemic has taken the security of food, shelter, care for families, and medical care. We mourn the loss of businesses that could not withstand the circumstances. These were not just businesses, but dreams born of passion and hard work. We mourn those who find themselves needing to rely on others for help, when what they really want to do is to be able to help others. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of livelihood. We, we mourn, mourn this, this loss, loss of, of livelihood. livelihood. We honor and remember the dreams now deferred. We honor, honor and, and remember, remember the, the dreams, dreams now deferred. deferred. We pray for sustenance and resilience. We, we pray, pray for, for sustenance and resilience. resilience. Amen. We mourn this night the loss of love. Our society's dilemma, centuries in the making, has created such hatred, suffering, oppression, and ill will. We mourn the loss of those whose lives were lost to brutality and violence. We mourn the loss of our ability to love one another despite our differences as beings who deserve to be seen for their inherent beauty and worth. And we mourn the pandemic of racism that still plagues the fabric of our communities. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of love. We mourn, we mourn this, this loss, loss of love. love. We honor and remember the work of prophets who proclaim justice. We, we honor, honor and, and remember, remember the work of prophets who proclaim justice. justice. We pray for compassion and change. We, we pray, pray for, for compassion, compassion and, and change. change. Amen. Amen. We mourn this night the loss of of liveliness. For so many, this year has robbed us of our energy, our enthusiasm, and our sense of well-being. We mourn teachers and leaders and caregivers and workers who are struggling to help those in their care, them themselves exhausted and needing the sustenance they give to others. We mourn the loss of all who are suffering with anxiety and depression, who are finding it difficult to live each day with fullness or to find hope for tomorrow. We mourn those we have lost to suicide. We mourn those who find themselves addicted to substances, 
substances in order to ease the pain that feels unbearable. We mourn those who are experiencing their place of shelter as an abusive place from which they struggle to escape. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of liveliness. We mourn, we mourn this, this loss, loss of, of liveliness. liveliness. We honor and remember that each person is precious and whole. We honor and remember that each person is precious and whole. We pray for recovery and renewed vigor. We pray for recovery and renewed vigor. Amen. The gentle pull of God is often lost amidst the rush of all the obligations which lay a claim on us. Yet just beyond the frantic pace, our restless feet have trod. Thy deep still pools of quietness, the dwelling place of God. Meet me in the stillness, Lord, be the air I breathe. Meet me in the stillness, Lord. Free me to receive. Meet me in the stillness, Lord. Be the air I breathe. Meet me in the stillness, Lord, free me to receive. Oh, take me to that secret place where lost in wonder and in awe that moment comes and I rejoice to be and be with God meet me in the stillness Lord be the Stillness, Lord, free me to receive, to receive. Meet me in the stillness, Lord. now we light the fifth candle just as we will on christmas eve we light this as a sign of our belief we believe in the light that has come and is coming This light casts its glow on all the surrounding prayers that we have prayed. This light resides within us, perhaps dim for a time, but always lit, an ember of the holy inside of us, 
this light reminds us that we are not alone. I believe in the sun. I believe in the sun. Even when, even when it's not shining. I believe in the sun. I believe in the sun. Even when, even when it's not shining. I believe in love. I believe in love. Even when, even when I don't feel it. I believe in love. I believe in love. Even when, even when I don't feel it. I believe in God. I believe in God. Even when, even when God is silent. I believe in God. I believe in God. Even when, even when God is silent. I believe in the light. I believe in the light that has come, that has come and is coming. I believe in the light. I believe in the light that has come, that has come and is coming. As we have acknowledged our losses tonight, my prayer that is in doing so, we have made room for hope, love, joy, and peace to burn within us. It may start out as a spark, but as we continue to trust in God's presence within our lives, may that spark grow brighter each and every day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.